YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So we've got some little light grills for you today, for the uh, G500 and the TRX6 Mercedes uh, body shells. So we're going to get these out and see how they fit on the uh, on the TRX4. So they're pretty cheap, and the link will be in the uh, description. As always, um, basically that's what you get in the packet. Try and get a picture of it, but you get a couple of little grills in each one, and a whole bunch of little tiny screws. And what I would do is just empty each one out into its packet. So these are the uh, small ones for the front bonnet mounted either indicators or marker lights and uh, you can see the they are shaped to just fit on one way they are metal and they actually feel quite nice so it looks like it lines up pretty well let's see if I've got a uh, tiny screwdriver that will work with these little screws now as always with these bits that I get from Aliexpress they come with no instructions whatsoever so I'm going to try and see if we've got a uh, screwdriver tip that will fit these tiny little screws <laughs> right so the best fit I've got is this one that's a pH double zero so I'm going to try and get it as central as I can to get the first screw in the, the only thing I'm slightly concerned with with these is the wiring underneath so I'm going to get them started and then just have a quick look underneath the body shell and see if it's actually trying to uh, come through on any of the wires so it looks like that one's coming through just there but I can't actually see where the other one's coming through Definitely going to have to keep an eye on these where, where they actually come through inside. Right, so after closer inspection it comes with three larger screws that I believe is for here, here and here. And then it comes with um, two little screws, one for either side. And I believe that one goes in there because it comes through on that plastic bracket pretty close to that. So that's the uh, that's the two fitted for the side uh, repeaters or bonnet repeaters or whatever you'd like to call them. So next we're going to try and get one of the uh, headlamp grill covers fitted. Right. So that'll be these. So we're going to get these fitted. On the front. Let's have a look at what we get with these. So these these top covers, you actually get two extra screws with them. Now I think these are going to be quite a challenge to screw on because you've got to try and get the screwdriver through them grills. So if we just look at the front. So these are going to sit 
something like that. So I'm going to have to work out where these line up and which part of this to scrub them into, try and find the flattest part for them all to line up. So I'll get that measured up and get that screwed on and uh, then we'll cut back and I'll show you what it looks like. Right, so that's the two front grills fitted. And they were uh, more than a little bit awkward. Ended up having to use this tiny uh, little driver. But if you just use a uh, body ream, hole reamer, you can mark the holes, which makes it a lot easier to get it started. But, moving on now, we have the rear ones. So let's have a quick look what we're getting this one. So they're the rear light covers. Just need to work out where they're going to fasten, whether they're going to go that way or sit that way. I think they might actually look better that way around, rather than have the uh, bars on the top, but I'll have to look, see how much room there is above them. So, uh, that's going to be as option, so you can either do it that way, or you can try and fit it that way. Uh, I think looking at it, it looks like they're designed to go that way around. That's the way they seem uh, seem happiest. With the two little screws going to the top. So, I'll get that fastened on and we'll see how we uh, how we look when they're all finished. Right, so that's them all fitted. So we've got the uh, front ones on the bonnet. We've got the front grille over the headlights. And then that's the rear ones. And there's a few different positions you can move them to. You can have them, have them matted further up, more central, or I just found it easier to line it up this way. To get them both as similar as I possibly could. But yeah, for a scale look, I'm, uh, I'm quite impressed with them. To say how cheap they are. They do hold on really, really good. I uh, can't see them coming off easily. And I do quite like the look of them. Uh, the screws don't really come through too much into the inside, but you could always put something on them and screw into that if you don't want them just holding on with your body. Uh, the rear ones, see if I can get you a shot. You can just see where they come through there, so it's quite easy to keep the light wires out of the way. But... Uh, See if I can get you a better look at these. So yeah, I'm quite impressed with them. And as I said, they, they were relatively cheap. But I'll pop a link in the description of the video. But I'm quite happy with how that's come out. Thanks again for watching WTF RC Cars. If you like, like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys again in the next one.